all that rain flooded homes around the city. WGN's Brona Tumblesey is live at California and George with details. Brona. Good evening, guys. Yeah, we drove under the Kennedy here by George and California earlier this evening, and it was like driving through a lake. There was somebody's bumper lying in the middle of the road as well. Obviously, right behind me here, the water has now subsided, but people across the city and beyond have spent much of the day drying out their homes. It's been tough for especially autumn. I'm guessing for all the residents here in Cicero, Illinois. That's Jose Guzman of Cicero, who we caught up with as he pumped water out of his home using a second hose. We weren't expecting this this much rain, to be honest with you. Um, it's been it's been bad. And the streets all around him kind of look like a lake. It's for the reason that we have two pumps, yeah. and thankfully we were able to to stop the water from coming in. We actually went over that way to chat with his neighbour, another Jose, but unlike others, we didn't bring our boat and we just couldn't get to his house, so we had to settle for Zoom instead. It's like five stairs, so let's see, I could put this whole... Really go all the way down. It's literally halfway through the door. And his basement is under several feet of water, with a sump pump working around the clock since early morning. It just keeps coming back in and it's kind of pointless at this point. But it's similar scenes from the north side to the south side, everywhere in between and beyond. This was Ellen Shockley's basement at Diversi and Costner earlier today. We've seen several bumpers lying in the streets and even furniture floating down the Chicago River, which reportedly burst its banks in some low-lying areas. But in spite of all that, some people know how to make the best of a bad situation. The house is flooding. Nine-year-old Alejandro Enrique is telling us he couldn't believe his eyes earlier. Like I'm playing at the beach, but when <laughs> And after bailing out the house all day with buckets, he was able to enjoy a hard-earned splash about outside. Yeah, we were getting buckets and then like Ariel was just getting them out, out, out. Really? Yeah. So you were working hard? Yeah. So now you're going to have a bit of fun, huh? Mm, yeah, true. He's a cute little guy. Now, the Metra is running right behind us here as well. We do understand that standing water on the tracks caused some delays earlier, but we also understand that that has now been resolved. We're live on the north side, Bruno Tumulty, WGN News.